Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a review on a Sure Knife. This knife is a, a handmade knife from a company called Flying Steel. It was designed by Ralph Thorne, meant for a no spin or a spear style throws. And uh, it was done, it uh, has a feature because it's balanced to an equation called phi, which I'll include for you. Um, and basically the balance point is going to be a little bit closer to the handle than it is the point. Okay, when you have a handle heavy knife, it's better for a uh, no spin. Okay, now the cool thing about this is, is it's bandle, now it's handle heavy, but it's uh, skeletonized. When I say skeletonized, it means there's no handle, no tape, no paracord, no handle scales, whatever. Um, which is really nice. Here's a good look at the point. Um, I've just got this thing this week, so I'm fairly sure that there are no flaws with this, meaning it's not going to break. Uh, but you know, we'll see. If something does happen to it, I'll let you know. So it's not going to be like a complete knife review just because I haven't abused it uh, like I would some of my other knives. Alright, um, if I can think of anything else I'll tell you, but for now I'm just going to start practicing. Sidearm. Underhand. Okay, um, one thing I probably forgot to mention in the intro is uh, that when you're throwing a skeletonized knife, meaning a knife without a handle, um, it takes a little more uh, fine finger dexterity. Uh, meaning that when you're throwing spear style, you have your uh, index finger up on the handle of the knife, and when you throw a skeletonized knife like this, it doesn't have a handle, your finger will often slip off to one side. This causes uh, the knife to wobble. Um, or bullet spin, you know, if you uh, do it too much, it'll spin, you know, like a bullet or arrow would. And then if you go off too hard and push it, it'll wobble. Now, you can stick a knife if it wobbles a little bit. Um, in fact, it probably will wobble on your longer ranges, thro your throws at longer ranges. Um, it, you know, minimum distance is good to avoid that, and it's pretty easy to do. Just be sure you're pressing down on the knife hard um, when you release it with your finger. I mean push down, I don't mean push it from the sides, I mean push it down, okay? Uh, try not to go off to one side, a little bit of that is going to happen, especially if you're a beginner, but uh, that's one thing that it's kind of hard to control with a skeletonized knife. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some half spin throws. Now I know you're thinking, Ralph Thorne's a no spin guy, yada yada yada. Um, but if you've watched this video, he does a section on uh, half spin throws, okay? He uses the same grip he would on the handle, um, but he gets a lot farther back. Use the same uh, pushing uh, action with the next finger and the same wrist flick, and uh, you can get pretty far back uh, with half spin throws. So that's what I'm going to do. This knife is great for this, okay? Because if you look at it, this isn't an edge right here, okay? It's not sharp. I've had a lot of other throwers, um, they come with a dagger point like this, and they are sharp at first. Um, you have to throw them or file them down to get them dull, but this one right here is. Uh, it comes dull on the side, so that's good. It still penetrates great, just because it's narrow. Um, it's also thick. Don't worry about it breaking. But it's, I'm not worried about it cutting my finger on the release. So that's really nice. So uh, we'll see how that works. All right, works great. That was probably a throw at about 23, 24 feet. Um, and as you can see, that knife probably could rotate it even a little bit more. Alright, now for some accuracy. I'm going to hit a cheese it using my new Sure Knife from Flying Steel.
Eh, get the corner off. Okay, so now I'm going to test how well it penetrates. I've got a water bottle set up over here. And uh, I'm going to try to pin it to the target. That was uh, too easy. That was clean. Look at this. <laughs> That's where the water's up to. You would think it would just be pouring right out, but nope. Let's try it again. There we go. Alright, um, well this is a great knife, um, I'm really enjoying this thing. You'll definitely see this one again on my videos. Um, well thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.